Hello everybody, um, thank you, um, you so now, this is not Grand Final Countdown, this will be reviewing, it's called Reviewing the Series, season, and we'll be reviewing the season, you know, the team season, the Daily M season, no, the Daily M's, the Grand Final, the Finals, so please stay tuned, um, so the Grand Final last night, 14-8. I'm going to be honest, I think it should have been Canberra's rate, 14-8, because of that call. He called six again, the ref, okay? Ray's play, look back. Oh, six again. Let's run, boys. Let's run and attack through the middle of the field. Oh, no. Change over. They, they can, you can't change your mind. The players are not going to look back after you call it. They're just going to focus on the game. So, I think Raiders were stripped off them. It's BS. Unfair. Um, I think Rangers deserve that grand final. I think they played better than the Roosters. That's just the refs on the Roosters' side. You know, you could just tell. I don't think any other ref would do that back in the Super League. You can't do that. Once you make a call, it's a call. Once you do that, if I was a player, I'd be like six again. And if some, if he said no, nah, change over, I'd be like, but you did that. If you do that, it's six again. You know, I'm not gonna think. Oh, well, if he changes and stuff. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to think it's six again and it's attack. But, no, the refs wanted, easily wanted the Roosters to win, and they did. So, the refs stuffed up our game, stuffed up the grand final. They made it worse. It was a great grand final until that. So, disappointing. Because I actually thought the Razor were a bit like the Sharks in 2016. Same place in the ladder. Even nearly the same amount of wins. Made the grand final with the Dark Horses and still... This is unfair. To be like, oh, sorry. This is unfair. So, I have all the guns players. I think, you know what, we played better than them and we should have won. Let's not, you know, let's not, you know, let's not get upset about that. Because they won. They easily won the Raiders. Give them the they won. So, yeah, Jared Sutton, Ben Cummings, not good. But, now, Clive Churchill, we've seen what you've Jack White and Jude Sterling. But then the Roosters fans were booing. You know, like, shut up, Roosters fans. You got, uh, sorry, no offense to you, Roosters fan. But you won the game. Okay, you won the game. And you, you're, the refs were on your side and stripped a grand final in 25 years. The first grand final in like 25, 24 years. Off the Raiders to go to you guys. And you're booing Jack White for having a great game. So, I think, you know, you can't do that. You know, you already won, you know, the, you already won because the refs are on your side. You know, be happy with that, you know. And don't be the refs. They're the ones that made you win. Not you guys, them. Because the Raiders were obviously going to score after that six again. Because they were just hitting you guys. You guys were under pressure. So, yeah, no offense to Roosters fans. I'm just saying, yeah, Jack Ryan did deserve it. He had a crack of red. His kicking game was on point. His attacking game was on point. And his defensive game. He scored a try. His running game was on point. He made such good meters. Same as Charles A. Charles A. Nick Cox, that I can't pronounce. I think he played better than Tedesco. He got more meters. I need more than Tedesco. Tedesco didn't touch it as much as I thought he would. I thought Tedesco would get the ball every set and be like, oh, okay, yeah, and just set up. But that was Charles. He made such good kick, kick returns. I think Charles, if it wasn't going to go to Jack White, it would have gone Charles. He made a crack of the game. But White didn't deserve it. So, good job, Jackie One. I tagged you in my post, hopefully it sees it. But, let's talk about the Dally Ams now. Latrell Mitchell got sent over the year. He got dropped from Origin. I don't know if he got dropped from... He got dropped from the Australian side. And I don't know if he got dropped from the NRL. But he had a horrible year. He got dropped from, you know, represent, representing his state and country. And he still got it. Still got it. I think Joey Minor and Josh Morris still got it. it. And I almost like him. Because he did not deserve that. He got dropped. He, didn't, he was quiet in a lot of games. Except fine. He had some good games, but he was quiet in a lot of them. If you look at Greg Inglis, he's always calling for the ball. That's what makes him so good. But with, um, what's his name? The troll. He doesn't. He just waits for it to come. He says, that was like an origin. He was so lazy. But when he got the ball, he did well. When he got the ball... He bubbed off Ponga. He did a great run. 
if he called for it and did that more often, jeez, he he would still be in that team and he'd be in the Australian team and he would deserve Sim of the Year. You know, because he's like, he has the size and the speed. He just doesn't use it. You know, like in Origin, he was just waiting for the ball to come to him and he didn't get it that much because of that. And yeah, and he was lazy. But he's like up for it, strong. If you're like playing some footy, good footy, Jesus, he's hard to play just like maybe better than Grant Newsmith, but he's not like that. He's good and he's got to he's got to be hungry for the ball. That's what makes some players so good. They're always hungry for the ball. But yeah, I think Joey Manu, Josh Marsh should have got it. Joey Manu had a great season, he's got a beautiful flick pass, good defence, great palming, you know. And Josh Marks what got a hat trick made origin and he's like thirty three or thirty two. And yeah, he's carried the sharks. He's had his I think he's had one of his best seasons. And he didn't get sent out of the year. So it's a little disappointing. And he scored in origin. A little disappointing, but it doesn't matter. The rest were deserved, I reckon. Uh yeah, the rest were deserved. Let me know below who you thought did not deserve it. And yeah. But for half back and oh, sorry. Half back, he got half back of the year again. I forgot about half back. Oh yeah, Mitchell Moses. I honestly, oh, I don't know if he did it. Oh, I sort of did. He had a good season. He had a good season, but he had a good season. I don't know how he didn't play Origin. You know, I think if I was an Origin coach, I'd maybe drop Cleary and put Moses in. But yeah, so a little disappointing. Yeah, about Daily M, the trauma tree, the center of the year, but doesn't matter. Cameron Munster deserved that 5 8. Teddy deserved Clive Churchill. If it wasn't, if he didn't deserve it, Teddy, then it would have been Cameron Smith. So, yeah. But now, big talk is for, for me, my big question is who's playing 5 8 for Origin for Jimmy? In my opinion, either Jackie Wal- Jackie Boy, Jack Wyden. Or maybe Cody Walker. No, Cody Walker. He's had a great season, Cody. Yeah, he was a little bit quiet in Origin, but you feel the pressure. That was like clearing his first set of Origin. He was quiet. You know, you know, it's hard. It's like, I don't know, like 20,000 people screaming, and if you do get something wrong, they boo you, so it's scary. So I give him guts. Cody, I think, give him another chance, or maybe put Jack White in. Um, and number six and put Cody at fourteen. But yeah, um Prop of the Year obviously goes to Payne Haas. Great season that bloke. But for rookie of the year I sort of would have gone Nakora or Sivo. Nakora, first year NRL. Great season. He put a huge shot on. Couple of tries. And him and Sean Johnson, that partnership, they thrive. They just thrive. They scored against Tigers and did well against Warriors, so yeah, I think the core should have got it, maybe, or maybe Sevo. Or Haas could have got it, but he got Pub of the Year. So yeah, I think they'll deserve. I was just two that I think deserved, but yeah. Let me, do, let me know down below. And let me know below. Let, tell me below if you think Raiders deserved it or Roosters did. I just think Raiders. That I, I just can't believe the breath changed their mind after that. You just can't do that. It's a little bit disappointing, but the Newtown Jets. Oh my god. Billy Mugulis. I can't pronounce his last name, but look at that. He had a great game. I'm just looking at his last name, but he, he's kicking game. He's a forward and he kicks out like one of the best halves. I think drop Williams from the Sharks and put Billy in. Jeez, that guy is so good. Um he Katoa, oh his diving try. It was amazing. Yeah, see, Billy Magulius, he got 79 fantasy points, as you can see. Fantasy, fantasy points. And he got, oh, and he got 79. I'm looking at him, he got 79. Look at him, he got 75. So I think he's a player who should be in the NRL. His kicking game is on point. Look how good his kicking games are. So, kicking meters. 114 for a forward. 
Even though he did a great job, I saw his chip. And Katoa. Katoa, oh my god. He, he's a show pony, that bloke. He's tried to for the corner, you know. He didn't need to do that, but he still did it and it looked good. So I think next year, if we buy Raimi and let go of Josh Morris, Katoa, and because we're not going to have Fecky, Katoa at number two, and Ronaldo and Mugatalo at number five. Number three goes Cherry. Number four goes Raimi. Raimi. And number one goes Dugan. And they put Matt Moyer on the bench. Unless he improves his game. And you can put Dugan and Ring. But overall, that State Cup was great. That was a great game. I watched it. And I loved it. You know, they played, you know, New Town Jets deserved it. And they played well. There's a couple of players in New Town Jets who could play in NRL. Should be. So if I was John Morris, I'd be looking at the New Zealand Jets and looking at those players. For example, Billy, I'd be looking. But that's just me. So good job to New Zealand Jets and Roosters. And, and Roosters and congratulations and they go to the final. So, and subscribe, tell your friends and follow me on Instagram. Everything, um, look at my name. Look at my name. Jeez, I've got to delete so many apps. I've got so many useless apps. And there we go. Okay. Yeah, everything NRL. Everything underscore NRL. One, two, three, no capitals. So yeah, follow me on Instagram. Like my photos. And I do news, but I like to write something. Wow. We're away. Like, while it's not an NRL season, I'll still be doing NRL, like, signing. But I also will be doing Big Bash cricket. Cricket. I know most of you guys don't like cricket, but I'll be doing that. Because some people do. So, thank you. Subscribe. Turn on post notifications. And, yeah, peace.